All right, we're back on uh, Sports Sports Friday night. The big trade goes down, and uh, I'm loving it. I think Nick fans have been waiting for a blockbuster deal and waiting for a superstar player to come to New York, and they got one uh, in Carl Anthony Towns in a, in a, in a blockbuster deal that still finalizing uh, with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo will head to Minnesota. Uh, CP, the franchise, joins us. Nobody better to get a reaction from than CP, and he joins us here on 104.5 Team ESPN Radio. Good afternoon, CP. How are you? Roger and Mike, happy Monday. Good afternoon. Always good to be on with you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, what, 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 what was your – initial reaction when you heard about this on Friday? Yeah, well, n- not shocked. Um, I-, I did break it to the fans back in July that uh, Julius Randle's contract extension with the Knicks was going to be something to watch because uh, the sources had, had told me that uh, he was not going to be back with the team and that Carl Anthony Towns was the target. And so to hear the news uh, just uh, earlier over the weekend, it wasn't surprising, but it was a little disappointing to, to see the Knicks have to add Dante DiVincenzo into the deal. Uh, he was a guy who had an all-time three-point shooting season for the Knicks, one of the best in franchise history. Uh, obviously, his relationship with the with the Nova crew is well noted so it's tough to lose him but with getting Towns the Knicks get uh, the need that at the center position uh, they get extra shooting efficiency a career 40 percent three-point shooter and a guy that can hopefully provide a, an excellent or prolific one-two combo with Jalen Brunson yeah I mean listen we've talked for years CP the Knicks and Knicks fans about you know getting a player like this to come to New York and it it just wasn't working because I I think these players looked at the roster and said, you know, I'm not going I, – I get the Mecca basketball and New York and all of that, but this team is nowhere near winning a championship. And I think now they have a team that can win a championship, and now you can get a guy like, like Carl Anthony Towns to join your team. We haven't seen this type of um, discipline from this front office, I think, in franchise history. Uh, the way that they have methodically broken down what was here and turned it into a well-balanced team led by a superstar player who shocked everyone, I think front office included, Jalen Brunson. Uh, but now they have this team well-balanced. He's leading the way. They're all in their prime. Josh Hart will be the first player to turn 30 this season. And so this team is, is built for years to come, and I think Leon Rose and, and his regime deserve a lot of credit for how they've been able to turn this around and, and build a, a legit championship contender. We are talking some New York Knicks basketball with CP, the franchise founder of Knicks Fan TV here on Big Board Sports 104.5, the team ESPN Radio. Again, follow him on Twitter at CP, the franchise. And you alluded to it, CP. Uh, it, it's got to feel good. You did, and I remember you saying it. Back in July, kind of call this one, so got to give credit where credit's due. Well-deserved, my friend. And, uh, you know, you alluded to it at the end of your first point earlier, CP, when you said a great one-two punch, having Brunson and Carl Anthony Towns. How often do you think we're going to see Coach Tom Thibodeau, who has that prior relationship with Carl Anthony Towns, too, kind of implement some some pick and rolls and really help, you know, not clog the lane like sometimes Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein did, but, you know, how well is Carl Anthony Towns going to be able to feed off uh, Jalen Brunson and vice versa coming up this season? Oh, I, I think they're going to lean on that a tremendous bit, and, and as they should, uh, because as the data shows, some of the best offenses in the NBA were able to utilize the center in terms of pulling opposing centers far away from the basket. And so that was the Celtics and how they utilized Kristaps Porzingis, the Indiana Pacers and how to utilize Miles Turner, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks with Brook Lopez, like teams that can create that advantage end up having a very versatile offense and I think that's what the, the, the Knicks are going to be looking to do looking to utilize Carl Anthony Towns at the five to exploit uh, the spacing allowing also Jalen Brunson to operate in the paint but they'll also have options and if Mitchell Robinson is still on this team they can go with a twin tower look and so to have that versatility will, will provide an extra punch for that offense I love this move I just need to uh, if you're a Knicks fan you got to hope that that he stays healthy because that's kind of a been an issue with him right his health over the years of being on a court he he does suffer from those knickknack injuries and not only Carl Anthony Towns but they made a sizable investment in OG Ananobi who's been known to miss time and and so uh, I think we we have to give this team some time to gel 
to form a chemistry, but also hope that they can be healthy at the right time, and that's in April. It's a long season. It's very much a marathon. Yeah, CP, I mean, going back to the relationship between Carl Anthony Towns and Tibbs, which was pretty evident back in Tibbs' days in, in, in Minnesota, how much of a determining factor do you think that was for Leon Rose and company to bring you know, the star player and Carl Anthony Towns finally to New York? Sure, and, and it's also been noted that, that they did patch things up. And so, right. look, you know, player and coaching friction is not new in the NBA, but the reports were that uh, that they did patch things up. Also, remember, two years ago, Leon Rose hired Gerson Rosas, who was the former president of basketball operations with the Minnesota Timberwolves uh, when, when, uh, when Tom Thibodeau was there as well. He was with that organization. And so I'm sure he played a very vital role in, in bringing this trade about. And so here we are, a, a reunion of sorts with Carl Anthony Towns and his former C. CAA contingent as well as Tom Thibodeau. Can they win it? Can they win the championship now? I think they can. Uh, I think they can, Roger. We'll, we'll have to see uh, what happens with Mitchell Robinson. Is he going to be back with this team? Will he be back here healthy? Do they trade him for more bench depth? Losing Dante DiVincenzo, I think the bench also takes a little bit of a hit. So we'll have to see if Miles McBride, Campaign, you know, Tyler Kolick. We'll have to see who provides that punch off of the bench. But I think they have enough now to not just compete in the East, but also to win it. And we'll just have to see how things uh, play play out during the season. Yeah, I think that's yeah. exactly what this means. Look, you don't you don't do this unless you feel. And look, I don't think the player Carl Anthony Towns would do this. If he didn't. He would. You know, he wouldn't be happy to be making this move. He didn't think the Knicks had a roster that could win a championship. Yeah, there's no question. And, and this is what Leon Rose and World Wide West were brought here to do five years ago when they came here. And for the first couple of years out the gate, it was kind of questionable as to whether or not they, the fans had the confidence or that these guys can get it done. But things are breaking right in their favor. Luck certainly has to play a part, but things are falling into, into play right now. And you have to love the direction and the vision of this Knicks front office. Absolutely love it. No, no question. CP, always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks for uh, joining us on a, on a big day following a, a, a major story on, on Friday or, or regarding the New York Knicks. Roger, Mike, anytime. Thanks again. Thank, Thank you, CP. CP. 